We now need to look at the interchange between kinetic energy and potential energy during simple harmonic motion. Let's start off with the oscillator in the, the equilibrium position. This is when it's going the fastest. This is when its kinetic energy will be a maximum. Half a cycle later it will have moved one side and come back again. So it will actually be in the same place. Then one half cycle later after that it will be in the original place again. So basically after pi radians it will be back. After two pi radians it will be back in the same place in the equilibrium position. So we're starting at equilibrium. When it gets to its extreme value the kinetic energy will be zero because it will have stopped. It, the velocity will be zero. So between zero and pi radians the kinetic energy will be zero here. Also between pi and two pi radians it will be at the other extremity. In other words the velocity will be zero and the kinetic energy will be zero. So what we need to do now is to sketch a graph of how the kinetic energy changes during one cycle and it will look like this. It's to do with uh, the velocity squared. Remember the kinetic energy is half mv squared so we just take the, the velocity which is going to be a cosine function and square it. So this is a squared cosine function which means it will always be positive. What about the potential energy? If we take the initial point here, the kinetic energy is the maximum, the potential energy will be zero. This is when we're in the middle of the oscillation at the equilibrium point and it has no potential energy. It gets its potential energy at the extreme values. This is when the kinetic energy is zero. So the potential energy graph will look like this. you can see the symmetry between these two graphs. Now if we want to find the total energy of kinetic energy plus potential energy we need to add them together. So here we start at this value here when the kinetic energy is zero the potential energy is the maximum so it will be here. Here this is half and half so there again we're, we're going to have a fixed value for the total energy and that will look like this. So the kinetic energy and the potential energy will add up to a fixed value which will be the total energy provided no energy is lost. And these are the equations and these are the ones we need to express. The kinetic energy is for the kinetic energy of the particle undergoing simple harmonic motion. It will be half m omega squared x naught squared minus x squared. Notice there should be a familiarity here this is basically derived from half mv squared. If you remember what v is, and it's squaring v. And remember that v is equal to plus or minus omega x naught squared minus x squared all to the square root. So this half m omega squared x naught squared minus x squared. The total energy is going to be half m omega squared x naught squared, and the potential energy is half m omega squared x squared. These are equations that are in the data booklet. Now an exercise you can do is to just to prove that the total energy is equal to the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. So this total energy should be the sum of these two. So on a scrap piece of paper you can just prove that. So let's substitute the values, the, um, the equations in there. So this is the total energy is equal to the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. Now see if you by yourself can show that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And here is the proof. Factorize on the right hand side taking out a factor of half m omega squared. And then we remove the red brackets on the right hand side. Then we subtract uh, x squared, the two x squareds um, will cancel each other out. So, of course, the left hand side will be equal to the right hand side. 